230 Infantry just recently pushed the Taliban out of the bazaar in Kalyanau district. They've been fighting to keep their position ever since. One of the ways they keep it is by talking to locals and getting a feel for how they're perceived. First Lieutenant Paul Langford says the villagers unknowingly give clues to when the Taliban is about to attack. One of the good things about doing SLEs, as you can see, when we were doing the SLEs, you saw people were like starting to head back into their house, going into their shops. So that gave us a heads up, hey, you know, something's about to happen. And I kind of knew, uh, I, I had that feeling that something was going to happen. So. Langford says the enemy is constantly watching, and the reason they struck today isn't different from any other time they fire in the village. The Taliban hate us talking to the people because uh, that's how we get our message out, you know. How often does he go to the bazaar? When they see that, they're going to try and prevent us, and that's why they, they uh, engaged us today as well. As soon as gunshots ring out, it's chaotic. But the soldiers snap into grunt mode, and they do what they were trained to do. Private First Class Brad Hampton explains his usual reaction. Get down and try to figure out where it's coming from. Because when, like, we were in the alleys, you know, in the alley, have the sound bounce off in buildings, you have no idea where it's coming from. You just kind of watch where everybody goes because they might have a better, you know, idea where it came from. Third platoon took no casualties, but probably made a few of their own. After things calmed down a bit, they regrouped and headed back to the cop. Just another day for Bravo Company. Reporting from Cop Shark in Logar Province, I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Rogers.